I've just found out my parents are going on holiday without me. You know they love to travel. Well, I don't want to miss out on some vacation fun myself. So I'm looking up a trip to America. Here's a tip. Turn on Surfshark VPN and select the destination country before you look up flights and hotels. Fancy a stay at Caesar's Palace? Check this out. Look at these prices in British pans. Nah, let's turn the VPN to United States and refresh. All right, what are we looking at? Oh my goodness. Now, it's only $99. That's fantastic. Look at the savings. This deserves a victory stretch. I felt very proud of myself for dodging price discrimination online. I'll definitely head to Colorado to check out this Aspen Resort. And you know, I'll be using that public Wi-Fi. Surfshark will protect my data from hackers while I'm at the hotels, looking at my private entertainment. I don't want anyone to see what I'm watching in my free time. To get my link, surfshark.com forward slash eight miles for four months extra. And maybe I'll see you at the Aspen Colorado Ski Resort. Don't forget to check out my link. Bye. Good afternoon world from the back streets of General Luna. This is one of the most happening places here on Shargao Island, but in the back streets it still feels like you're in the middle of nowhere. It's always nice to just come off the main streets and observe the local life here. Look, you can just buy some wood from this place. Some guys over here, I don't know what they're doing, repairing shoes, I think. I love this building here. It looks so cool. It's also nice that you're never too far away from nature here. Even when you're in town, you can always see the mountains and the coconut trees in the distance. All of these streets used to be mud. You could not drive a car down here without busting your suspension <laughs> or getting covered in water like from the puddles. It's changed a lot in the last four years. If you're wondering why I'm wandering around by myself, I'm just doing the shopping. Story is in the local cafe doing some schooling and Sasha's teaching. It's a hot day so it makes sense for me to just whiz about and get stuff done. This street here in particular used to be undrivable. If anybody recognises one of our very very early videos from the lockdown days we came to this grocery store at the beginning of the pandemic to see if they had toilet roll when there was a toilet roll shortage. Weird to think that it's been that long. This island really is developing its infrastructure We just did a quick stop off at the immigration because we are leaving the country in less than a month to go to another country. It's going to be fun, it's going to be exciting, we're going to go away for Story's birthday. If you've been in the country for longer than six months you need to get something called an exit clearance certificate from the police and everything. So we need to, no we actually don't need to do that, that's what we were checking with immigration for. That's another task ticked off the list on our journey out of the country. We're now midway through October when I'm filming this and the weather has been incredible. This time of year last year, it's already starting to get pretty nasty. And by November, it was like really stormy, but it's been really good, very different this year. Good morning, Poppy. Look at you, you having fun? <laughs> Certainly. It's just so intense. Miko is not interested in your actions today. Oh, yeah. Hey, Poppy. Oh, I was going to give you a stroke, but. Nope. Luke, how are you feeling about the upcoming trip? I'm excited. Looking forward to it. It's just that the worst part of travel is the lead up we were just talking about the lead up to when you're going because you just feel like there's loads of stuff to do before you go and i just want to go now like if i click my fingers and be there yeah that's what would be amazing <laughs> so story's birthday trip this year is going to be in hong kong and hong kong is a place that sasha and i have fond memories of from our past we went there many years ago yeah. and it's really going to be fun to take Story back and show her 
some of the places that we know, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. We've been a few times, me and Jay, and I've been on my own with a friend, and, but it's got to have a whole different element with story with us this time because we're going to do different things that we didn't do before. Yeah, <laughs> things that we wouldn't do perhaps just as an adult couple yeah. without the kids. And also there's a lot of new things that have come up there since we were there first. So That's true. Lots of new things to see, even though we've been like five times before. <laughs> what I'm enjoying about this stage of life is that we've travelled more than we realise and slower than we realise because when I think about Hong Kong now, I know the streets like as if it was a town in England. It's the same with Australia. We lived there for a bit and I know the streets there. If I went, I could walk up and down and go, yeah, I know my way. Yeah, in a certain area. Yeah, certain parts. So with Hong Kong, we know like some, like the local boats that takes you across the harbour. And we know two of the islands that are our favourites where we've done hikes before, like independently. We've walked around Hong Kong city quite extensively didn't we so we know like the underpasses and yeah. the places that like, to get your um, you know your local travel card and we kind of know quite a bit about traveling in Hong Kong already so the story it's gonna be like our mum and dad are taking us around London yeah. a little bit well yeah I probably know it better than I know London to be honest I agree actually because <laughs> I never really used to walk around London no. like you went to work there I used to do like a bit of courier work so I know some of the roads but London wasn't really familiar no. to me because it was, I don't know, you, don't, you have a different attitude towards it, don't you? Yeah. Like some people with travel, they want to just go to different places all the time and, I don't know, like have tick the bucket list kind of things, tick them off the list and do all these new things all the time on each trip. But for us, I actually really love going back to places that we've already been and revisiting because it feels like home in a way like yeah. you feel like oh it feels nice you're somewhere different but you're also familiar with things and it, it just has a nice feeling when you go back to places and then each time you go back you feel like you don't have to rush around, rush around so much or explore everything like all in all in one go because you've already been to some of the places so you can do different things and then i feel like you get a better sense of the place as a whole yeah i agree with that <laughs> yeah i do i do because uh, slow travel has been like comforting to us yeah. like get, getting to a place and knowing a place is way more exciting than than going like from town to town to town not having any rest like just feeling like you're exhausted from the trip when you get back from the trip I don't really like that and I feel the same way about Japan now having done Japan last year yeah. like if we get in a car and drive in Japan like two years ago that would have been like an absolute dream yeah. And now I'm like, yeah, I can drive in Japan. Yeah. I know the roads. Wow. I know like how it works there. My favorite town, my favorite yeah. lake, my exactly. favorite parking spot. Yeah, <laughs> we know where to park if we go to a certain area, that kind of thing. Like, and I feel like with slow travel, you find areas that people wouldn't normally find. Like for example, when we go to Hong Kong, we're staying in an area that's not really known. You know, if most people go to Hong Kong for a weekend or three days, they were just staying in the main city in Hong Kong Island, but we're staying somewhere a bit different. I think one thing that we're going to do this time that we didn't do before is uh, try and do some like bicycle riding. Yes. Apparently it's quite a cycle friendly city. Yeah, I was going to say that. So now that Story can ride her bike, like this year she's really kind of excelled on her cycling. And she's got a, like her massive bike now. She's really confident with it and she likes it. So I started looking up cycling paths in Hong Kong. Which yeah. is something that we can now do without like having story on a back seat or something. Yeah. Which is too big for that, but you know, that kind of just going along with us. Whereas now she can actually take part in things. And yeah, like a cycle holiday. Do her own thing as well, yeah. And also, we were looking at some materials from Japan, like because we went there last year, of course, and uh, we saw that you can do cycling holidays in Japan now as well yeah. so it's like oh yeah then now I want to go back there again <laughs> to visit the same places again but maybe we could do some cycling there yeah. which we couldn't do the year before yeah. when we were booking this trip we were looking at the flights of course and the flight from Chargao to Manila is indirect slower and more expensive from the flight to Manila to Hong Kong 
or to Japan or to Singapore or to Indonesia. So that's crazy to me to know that like some internal domestic flights here can be more expensive than going abroad. So I, I know the question will come like, why are you guys like, why don't you do more travel in the Philippines? And uh, we have kind of mentioned this last time. It's, it's a little bit of a way up when it comes to booking the flights because just knowing that that short trip to like Manila, a place that we, we go just to like see your dad or something, can cost us like, you know, 5,000 pesos more than going to a, a country that story has never been before. Yeah. At this stage, it feels better to expose story to a bit more of the value of being out here in this part of the world. Yeah. Like being able to go to Japan and Hong Kong and Vietnam and Indonesia, Malaysia, Korea. It, Korea. If we were still in Portugal or England right now, coming to those countries would be really, really expensive and, and um, far away. Yeah. So we're really making the most of being over here. And that includes other Asian countries as well. So as much as we love traveling in the Philippines, because we live here, yeah. it, it's, it's way, way more exciting at this stage when Story is excited about the world to go to a completely different place and then come back home to the Philippines. Yeah. So that's why it's Hong Kong this year. Yeah. And then we did do Cebu as well this year, which was nice because that yeah. was new to us, wasn't it? Yeah, exactly. And it makes us feel like leaving the country is kind of like, it's time for that now, at least at the end of the year, so around about Story's birthday time. Yeah. It's, we do our big trip. Yeah, one big trip a year. Yeah. And I did ask Story what she wanted to do for her birthday. And she said, I said, do you want to stay here, have like a little party or do something here on the island, just go to a villa, you know, that kind of thing. What do you want to do? She said, I want to go on an adventure trip. Yeah. So. Well, funny enough, she said exactly the same thing last year before <laughs> yeah, Japan, didn't she? Exactly. She's like, I want yeah. real adventure. Yeah, I want to go to cool. another place. So, okay. Yeah. Let's provide that opportunity yeah. if we can. Got myself a decaf coffee. Coming out to enjoy the breeze in the garden right now. Story's also got a decaf, haven't you? Uh -huh. A decaf with oat milk. Very small one. <laughs> Did you ask for that? Yes. <laughs> it's like in the old Nicola cup from Portugal. Well, it didn't take you long to finish that. I'm not actually finished. It left. Oh, no, it's mostly done. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's still full up, look. What do you think Hong Kong's going to be like? I think it's going to be very quiet and like not very busy, but at the same time busy. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think it's going to be like calm and it's going to be exciting. What do you think the city's going to look like? Well, I think it's basically going to be just like a lot, lots of towns, parks, I think. Towns and parks, yeah? Yeah, towns, like lots of parted out towns. It's definitely going to have some beauty. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's going to be fun. The shout out for today goes to Rose Johnson because I'm loving that profile picture of the dog. Thanks for becoming a member. See ya. If you fancy becoming a member yourself, hit that join button and I'm going to end the video for today. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.